Well, I don't suppose Rosie Webster will be going to court, will she? I don't suppose she ever wants to set eyes on him again. Now, these things can go on for a long time. You don't want to be sat in the court for days. This won't, because he's pleading guilty. Well, what else can he do? They ought to have another option, guilty as sin, and then he can plead that. Yeah, but you could say... You could say he's the one that suffered most. Well, I wouldn't. Hey, and I wouldn't recommend you or anyone else saying that when Sally Webster's around, you'll get a right earful. I won't be doing. Good. Look at the time. Me and you'll be late for work. Forget John Stape. You just be grateful he's out of your life forever. Obviously. Please! No! What are you doing? It's no good. I have to go. I have to be there. No, but why? After everything you've said about how much you hate him. I know, but I loved him as well. And he'll be looking for me. I know he will. And if I'm not there, he'll think I've turned against him the same way everybody else has. Yeah, well, who would blame you for that? I Kat? would. I blame myself. Anyway, it's no good. I'm going. Just to let you know, Mr. Gordon, if he's came in, but she's had to go off somewhere. And where's somewhere? Oh, I might as well tell you. She's gone to court. Because a... Well, a boyfriend, I suppose you'd call him. He's up on trial. He's the one that kidnapped Rosie. Of course he is. And that's the day. Yeah. So, Fizz is standing by her man. Which nobody understands why. Well, I suppose she must love him, don't you think? Well, she must do, but even then you'd think there'd be some things you wouldn't stand for. Don't you think true love forgives everything? Only if you're soft in the head. Anyway, she's not in. Well, thanks for letting me know. Could you bring the defendant up, please? on this occasion to allow the defendant to address the court. Thank you, Your Honour. I'd like to say... Well, um... I'd like to say that I'm very sorry for everything that happened. I know that what I did, kidnapping a young woman, was a very serious offence. Of course it was. But I never harmed her, and I never would have. I tried to make sure that she had everything that she needed, and that she was never in any discomfort or fear, which I know that might sound odd, but I don't think that she was ever frightened of me. Not really. And the other thing that I would like to say is that no matter what punishment this court gives me, even worse is knowing that I have lost the love and the trust of... Well, of somebody that matters most to me in the whole world. Thank you, Your Honour. Your offences of kidnapping and false imprisonment are so serious that only 
Immediate custody can be justified. You kept a young woman prisoner for five weeks. And although true, she suffered no physical harm, she must have been terrified throughout, never knowing her fate. If this had gone to trial, I would have imposed a sentence of three years imprisonment. By reason of your guilty plea and other mitigating circumstances, I'm reducing that to two years imprisonment. You will serve at least half of this sentence in custody. The time you've been remanded will also count towards your sentence. Take him down. No, I just wanted to... I mean, I was with him all the rest of the way, so... So you wanted to be there at the end? I suppose I did. How did he look? Like he always does. He must have been frightened, though, eh? I mean, going to prison? I think so. Oh, hi, Chairs! Maria's here! Yeah. Hi. So, have you heard what Stapes got? Uh, never mind, has she heard? She went. She was there. He was sentenced to two years in prison. Well, I'd say good, but you won't want me to, so I won't say out. I suppose he's been in prison for a while, hasn't he? So he's had time to get used to it. Then what do I know about how he's feeling? I've never really known that all along, have I? I thought he was genuinely fond of you. I thought he was. Two years. John State has just got two years. The police have just rang and told me. Weren't we thinking he was going to get more than that? Yeah, more, but he might have. But he could have just tried to wriggle out of it and tried to put all the blame on me. Right, and he's a sort of clever so-and-so who might have tried doing that. I mean, finding him guilty is the same as finding me innocent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. So anyone who says, oh, she must have deserved it or anything like that, we can just sue them for thousands. Oh, Rosie, I don't know about that. Anyway, come on, let's go and tell your dad. I want to be the one who tells him. Yeah, well, don't be surprised if he gets annoyed, because you know your dad. I don't think he'll think it's enough. Dad? Yeah? I've just heard from the police. You know that they say they'd ring me when State was sentenced? Yeah. Well, he's just been sent to prison for two years. Well, great, fantastic. I thought you were expecting more. I would have liked more, of course would. But, you know, once these things get to cut, anything could happen, you know, we could have let him off. No, we'll settle for that. Hey, and tonight, we're celebrating. <sighs> See you later. See ya. I didn't enjoy it, and I'll have bad dreams about it. All the same, I'm glad I went. Did he see you? Yeah. I mean, he couldn't wave or anything, but... Yeah, he knew I was there. And why? Did you want him to? I mean, I don't get it. What did you go for? Well, Chess, sometimes when you've had something happen in your life, something important, you want to see it right through to the bitter end, don't you? And that is the end, is it? We're not going to hear any more about state this and state that. No, not from me, you're not. Good. Well, I think I'd agree with that. Best thing now is for you to forget all about him. Right, well, that might take me a day or two, but he's gone. When the judge said, take him down, I felt it then. Like that really was the end of it. All right. All right. Hey, what do you want? No, I'll get these, Dad. Bottle your best champagne, Steve, if you don't mind. Well, we only do one sort, so it'll be best whether you like it or not. <laughs> is uh, somebody celebrating something? Oh, yeah, John Stape. You know what I'm talking about? You know, that kidnapped me. Oh, him, yeah. Well, we're celebrating the fact he's been sentenced to two years in prison. Wow, one when he get down the way. No, he's still banged up, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so now he can find out what it's like to be locked in a little room for weeks on end. <laughs> oh, that's... Now, come on. We'll just have the one round. It'll do you good. Oh. I'm not sure about that. Come on. Yeah. I'll get him in. Love it. What yeah. do you want? Yeah. Um, just half, thank you. Hey, come on, everyone. Get a glass, including you, Liz. Oh, I want to see the 
toast. I was the one who locked up. Go on, then. Yeah, nothing stupid. Yeah. Please, everyone, raise your glasses. Say well done to the judge for locking up John State. And let's hope that they lose the key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not stopping here. Oh, no, no. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Hey, think Fizz just came in at the wrong time, man. It's too bad. Oh, please don't tell me she still fancies him. Wow, I believe she went to court this morning. She fancies a maniac who locks up women for a hobby. I mean, how perfect is that? It takes all sorts. I don't know what's up with Norris this morning. He's in a right mood, even for him. Is he? Yeah. I went in to pick up the papers, and all I said was, who's died? He nearly bit my head off. Shouldn't you be getting ready for work? I've called to say I'm not coming in. Why not? Because we need to sort these chairs, unless you still want to be doing a paper round when you're 30. I'm not going back to school. What? I can't teach you, yeah, not on my own. I can teach myself. You're 14 years old. Uh, where are you going? The library. Well, just wait a minute. Was that Chess? Yeah. Don't suppose he's changed his mind? No. Bummer. Is that Julie's stuff? She's coming round later to pick it up. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. For the best. You know, clean break and all that. I'm going to give it back to her. Well, thanks a lot for your help. Not! Here with that? Oh, local education authority. And what did they say? That I should talk to Chessie's headmaster. And what did you say? I told him I tried that already. Well, then what did they say? That if we were going to homeschool Chesney, we'd, we're legally obliged to provide an education suitable to his age and ability. How? Oh. oh, they didn't say. Kurt, what are we going to do? It's been years since I sat me GCSEs. I can't teach him, even if I had time. Well, I've got the time. But me and school, we never really saw eye to eye, even though we were a pupil. Hey! You know we might be able to help. Who? Think about it. Who do we know who used to be a teacher that's got bags of time on their hands? You mean... Ken! Oh! Oh, no, I don't know. Him and Deirdre, they're only just getting over the fire and all that. It's got to be worth a try, though. No, 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 not at all. What can I do for you? Well, actually, it's not really me I'm here about. Well, come in. Come oh, in. thanks, thanks. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing or what he needs to be studying for or if he can still take exams. Ken? Sorry. Uh, um, yes. Uh, about the exams, I think uh, Chesney certainly could sit his GCSEs even though he is homeschooled. But where would I find the stuff that he needs to be learning for him? Well, you can buy the syllabuses. I don't know how much they cost, but it means you could structure his lessons, you know, give him a timetable similar to the one he had at school. That's the problem, though. Even if I buy everything, I haven't got time to teach him. And he needs someone with him, you know, even if it's only for a few hours a day. Oh, you mean a tutor? Ah, oh, oh. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, I know it's a no, lot I'm to sorry, ask. Fizz. I'm sorry, but I just cannot take on this type of commitment. I've just got too much going on right now. You mean with Peter and Simon? Amongst other things. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I understand. No, 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 but wait a minute. I, I still know a few teachers. I mean, uh, a lot of them are retired. I could give them a call, see if they could recommend anyone. Do you really think they might be able to help us? Well, there's only one way to find out.
Not much to show for nearly a year together, is it? No. Are you all right? You look tired. Oh, I couldn't sleep. Me either. I kept lying there wondering if... if maybe we'd made a mistake. Why couldn't you sleep? I went back to my flat and stayed on the sofa bed. My lodger was snoring all night. I think it's sinus problems. Right. You don't reckon we have, though, do you? I mean, made a mistake. It all happened so fast, but... Now I've had time to think about it. No. I'm going to miss you. I'll still be around. And you'll soon find somebody else. Because you're... kind. And warm. And loyal. If we had a tail, I'd make a great puppy. <laughs> I'm on a break. <laughs> I need to. Yeah. You all right, mate? I was going to take Schmeichel for a walk up the Red Wreck. Do you want to come? Maybe me and him can chase sticks together. Eh? Don't matter. Go and get him, then. I don't know why you've pulled him away. He could have definitely had that other dog. I don't know. Those Labradoodles can be quite nasty. I didn't fancy the look of its owner, either. Did you see Ken? Sorry. I told him about the tutor thing. Thought I might cheer him up. It's cool. I mean, I know Ken's a bit ancient and you that, You can't but... do it, Chaz. What? And we can't afford to hire anyone. I've been ringing around and I'm sorry, but... it's not going to happen. Well, if, if it's just money, then I could get another paper out. Will they pay you £30 an hour, eh? Cos that's how much it'll cost. Then I'll teach myself. No! I know what I'm doing. No, Chess, you don't. You might think you're grown up, but you're still a kid. And I'm not going to watch you throw your life away and end up in some dead-end job like me and half the other people on this flaming street. But you're all right watching me go to school every day and get my head kicked in. I've got no choice. Well, I have. He'll be all right when he calms down. He's just a bit disappointed. Tough, because he's going to have to get used to it like the rest of us. I've been thinking. I've got a bit of money I was saving for a place for me and Julie. I'm not going to need it now, so... Oh, thanks, Kurt, but... It still won't be enough. It's not going to work. Oh, don't say that. It's the truth. I don't know how to structure a lesson or help Ches if he's stuck on some multiple equation or something. It's no good. We can't send him back to school. He'll be that miserable. Well, have you got a better idea? Oh, I'm sorry. I know you're only trying to help. But sometimes you've got to do things that hurt people. Like you deciding to finish with Julie. No, we're different. Why? Because I didn't want to. You are? I would have tried anything if I thought I could have made it work. I did it because I knew it was the right thing for her. And I'm only trying to do what's right for Chesney. Even if he hates you for it? Yeah. Even then. I'm going to see how he is.
Hello. Hiya. You look great. How are you? Yeah, yeah, could be worse. Could it? Well, not much, but <laughs> seeing you makes things better. Look, I have come, you know, for a reason. I thought you must have. It's, um, it's to do with Chesney and stuff that's been happening at school. Yeah? It's that Kenzie Judd again. Oh, that thug. You've some like him in here. <laughs> him and his mates have been bullying Ches. Oh, no. Yeah, to a point where Ches don't even want to go in anymore. That school wants to get a grip. Either that or somebody should close it down. Well, that's the thing. What we're thinking about is teaching him at home, which is me teaching him, really, because there is nobody else. And, um, well, I thought, you know, who could I talk to who might be able to give me some advice? What, you thought of me? Well, uh, yeah, I'd love to. I would. Thank you, Fizz. I mean, for thinking of me. Thank you. But it is for Chesney. That's the reason I'm here. Of course. I understand, yeah. Mind that the... Chess, what subjects he's studying? Oh, yeah, I've already got a list. Well, that's great. Um, when you get home, get on the internet. You'll find a detailed curriculum for each one. OK, internet. Chess should still have his books from school, so you're OK there. Uh, so, what's next? Um, oh, well, uh, a timetable. We can draw that up together. Yeah, please. Then decide what homework he does. Set some targets. We're in business. That don't make me a teacher, though, does it? Everything he needs, he can get from his books and the internet. Motivation, he's got you behind him. Marking his homework and keeping an eye on his progress. Stape, John, cell 24, Green Wing. It's called teamwork. Yeah, but I'll only be able to come in. What? Every two weeks. But you can post things to me and I can post them back. And I'll phone you. Every day. I phone you every single day. Can I ask you something? And I want you to be absolutely honest. Go on. Are you just saying all this so I'll keep coming to see you? No. No. Honestly and truly, I'm saying it because I think it'll work. And for Chesney's sake, same reason you're doing it. Yeah, OK. So, have you got that list of Chesney's courses? Um, we'll try and draw up a timetable. Yeah. There you are. Well, um, thanks for all that. And, and you'll come again? Yeah, well, if we're going to do this. Right, see ya. Please, Fizz. Well, it's been fantastic seeing you. And listen, you asked me before, was I only helping you so you'd come back, yeah? Yeah, because I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. So, now, can I ask you a question? What? Well, there are hundreds of teachers out there you could have gone to. Well, not really, no. So why me? Because you're the only one I know. Well, isn't there another reason as well? Fizz, I love you, I do. I've tried to forget about you, but I can't. I've got to go. So, do you still feel anything for me? You can tell me that, surely. Bye. Fizz. Fizz! Fizz, I'm glad I've seen you. Some boy was saying that Chesney has opted out of the school system. I hope this doesn't mean that he's playing true. No, no! We're doing that homeschooling thing with him. Well, I'm trying to. I'm going to need all the help I can get. And, and this is because of... He was being bullied, Roy. He didn't want to go in. Oh, dear. Yeah, so whatever subject you're an expert in, feel free to give us a hand. I will. Yes. Right, bye. Hi, Fizz. Right, I've an announcement to make, so can you turn that off a minute, please? What, that I have to go back to school? Cos I'm not, I've told you I'm not. I said turn that off. Sorry. I've been to see somebody that's going to help us with Chesney's schooling. How much, though? Uh, no. He's not costing anything. He's just doing it because he thinks it's the right thing. Hey, fantastic. 
You're serious? Who is it? Ah, oh, well, that's the thing. Yeah, I am serious. But you're having to ask me who it is, and if you do ask me, I'm not going to tell you. What, is it someone from school and they're doing it in secret? Is it somebody we know? I said, you don't ask. And if you do, it's all off and you're going back to school, so which is it going to be? Yeah, OK. We won't ask. Good. That's your timetable. And where there's a start, that's where you have to do homework for that subject. It's too much. I can't do this much. Well, this person I talked to, who knows all about homeschooling, said that's how it should be. So that's the mystery man, is it? The homeschooling man? Might be. Don't argue with the teacher, Chess. What teacher? She doesn't even know how much homework to give. We're gonna get nowhere if you don't do what I tell you. I know how much work I'm supposed to do. You don't. It was always like this in my classroom. Everybody arguing. Hello? It's me. Oh, um, hang on. Right, you stop there. I'll be back in a minute. Um, yeah, sorry. I can talk now. I'm sorry for what I said when you were leaving. Oh, well, yeah. I just got carried away. Seeing you and everything. But I am sorry. I hope it hasn't made you have second thoughts. No, not really, no. Because I do want to help you with Chesney. I'm not just saying that, I really do. Well, look, I need somebody's help, I can tell you. Why? What's up? Oh, it's just Chesney saying that there's too much homework. They always say that. Don't believe him. Well, that's easy for you to say. So it should make it easy for you. Because you know I'm right there behind you. And not on your own. No, I'm not, am I? I'm there with you, as much as I can be. Anyway, look, i best get back in and get him sorted out. Good luck. And I'll be seeing you again, yeah? You will, yeah. Uh, £3.50, love, please. Norris, why are you lurking in the shadows? Oh, I don't... Um... Just waiting to be served. Well, are you going to tell me what you want, or do I get my crystal ball? Oh, well, this young lady can go first. No, 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 you're all right. I'm in the rush. You're not going to be selling those sandwiches in here, are you? Norris! No, it's none of my business. Oh, thanks. Oh, I need a pen as well. Right. Look, if you've nothing better to do, take this box of decorations over to the Rovers. There you go. It's calling 70th tonight, so we're having a bit of a shindig. I hope you'll come. I hardly know him. Well, you know Eileen. Any time. We're starting early and we're finishing late. It'll be lovely to see you. Paula, you're invited too. Eileen's going to be there. You're going a bit up market, aren't you? Um, just doing a bit of reading up for chairs. Social studies and that. Uh, you're not working today. Ain't that factory it's half empty. Your pal Julie's off too. Is she sick? Sounds like it. Love sick. Hey, she only went and spent the night with, um... Oh, what's his name? <gasps> Jason, didn't it? No! Yeah? Sean said. She stopped there all night. With Jason Grimshaw? Well, Jason Julie! Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Do you mind? Oh? Mummy's not happy. Oh, hi. It's me. I need to see you. No! No, this morning, Julie. Yes, yes, it's important. No, I mean it. I, I, I really need to talk to you. Calm down, but if I worry about you. I'm just taking a couple of hours off. You're not ill. I'm not feeling great. Another late night. Oh, Mother. What are you on about? Were you out with Jason Grimshaw? What? You and Jason. If I was, there's nothing wrong with that. Did you go back with him? No. Julie, love, it's important. Let me just check. Oh, that's a relief. For a minute there, I thought I was 14 again. I heard Fizz and that sandwich woman talking about you in the show. Mind you, when I was 14, I could have set fire to myself without you noticing. That was the year you were with Baldrick, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, Baldrick. Have you slept with Jason Grimshaw? If I have, it's my business and not yours. Please. Mother, 
I don't want to talk about this. I'm going back to work. No, because you don't give anything a minute's thought, do you? Oh, here we go. Same old song. And I was feeling so happy. Well, of course you were, because what Julie wants, Julie gets. This man, that man. You're too stubborn. You're too selfish. Just stop and think. You have got a built-in radar system. You're like a joy-seeking guided missile. If it looks like I might be happy, you come steaming in. I'm trying to help. No, you're not. You've never helped me. You've always made me feel useless and in the way. You were. You were in the way. You've always been in the flaming way. Oh, now we get to the truth. Why don't you just admit you wish I'd never been born? You want the truth and you can have the truth. There's been times when I've wished I'd never had you. Day all day. I'm so sorry I didn't come yesterday. I, I got your message. Don't worry. Shall we? Yeah. I felt so stupid for getting my ID. I did have it all ready to bring, but then I've. Honestly, don't worry. <laughs> I must have checked everything about a dozen times today. You know, like when you're going on holiday and you're checking your passport. Sorry, I'm going on. Fantastic seeing you. When you didn't come, I thought, that's it, she decided not to visit after all. No. Oh, I've, um, I've posted you some magazines. Your sort. Thanks. Very thoughtful. Politics and satire. Anyway, um, Chesney schooling. Yeah. How's it going? Jekyll and Hyde. We can't get going. Do you think it'll be enough if we just watch the film? It's a theme that runs right through literature and drama. Good against bad. Yeah. Um, the battle between the good and the bad in all of us. The author gives its shape by creating the scientific mixture that brings out Mr Hyde. But that's just a device. For some it might be gambling that turns them into someone they don't want to be. Or alcohol. Or jealousy. Weakness and insecurity, getting in too deep, not knowing how to get out. And we thought it was just some silly horror thing, but it's not, is it? Can't judge a book by its cover, eh? Make the film a treat, get a pizza in or something, and it, when you do read the book, never do more than one chapter a day. That's it. We didn't even get to talk about the footnotes. Well, um, it's all right. At least I know what it's all about now. Jekyll and Hyde, I mean. Well, if there's anything else. Yeah, I'll, I'll write. so confusing once you've gone through it with someone. This school network guy? Yeah, he said we should watch the film first, but it's only to get you into the story, because there's loads more in the book. So he's read it, has he? Yeah, of course he has. He's read everything. He's, like, really clever. And he's got a kid he's educating at home. I get it. Really clever. Yeah, you know, been to uni and that. I'm not thick, Fizz. I've worked out what's going on. What? This homeschooling guy. He's fit, isn't he? You've got a crush on him. <laughs> Don't be daft. Yeah, you have. Look at you, all flustered. 
Right, Kirk, you're giving me tea tonight, eh? Uh, get chips. Because I said I've got this homeschooling thing. I don't know when I'll be back. I'll get chips. Jason's helping Julie clear her dad's stuff. I want her help after I've took Maria. Can anyone see me? I said I'll get chips. Right, well, make sure Roy gives you something proper for your dinner. You never ate anything proper last night, and you never ate your breakfast this morning. Eh, uh, what's this? Neighbourhood food watch. I wasn't hungry. Where will I get boxes? Julie will need tons of boxes. Um, hey, uh, chairs, chairs, don't forget to say thank you to Roy for helping you. I can fetch the cab here if you don't want to walk around. Oh, no, it's fine. Let's walk. We'll be sat for long enough in the waiting room, won't we? Is it normal to have two hospital appointments so close together? I told you. The other one was just to check everything was OK for today, wasn't it? Our trip to the hospital. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, um, that was just a check thing, that. Right, go on, chairs. You'll be late. Go text on. me if Roy's got empty boxes. Bit early for you, isn't it? A busy day. Weddings and funerals. Everyone wants the do done, especially the atheists. Believers know God sees them on bad hair days too. So you won't get a lunch break? I might. And if I did, should I be in the rovers at say one o'clock? Hungry? Uh, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Gordon. You've not forgotten that I'm doing half a day because I've got a homeschooling network meeting this after. Fizz, I allocate a portion of my brain exclusively to recording the minor shy of your life. Is that a yes? Yes. Ta. One o'clock then? Oh, do you want a hand? It's not much, is it? 70 years of life. He got rid of most of it when he moved into shelter. All his books, his old vinyl. Oh, I bet that was hard. He had an to play it on. Right, better get it in. Bill wants the chuck back. Just, um, oh, I could have shown him how to download music. I'd have enjoyed that. Helping him replace his vinyl with an iPod. Hey, how come you're back? Dinner break. My granddad with an iPod. You can only text in capital letters. I thought Roy was giving you your dinner. He had no in. He's a cafe. I mean, I wanted chips. But now you're back, I'll make us a butter. No, not for me, no. I'm off as soon as the cab gets here. Can I come? To the meeting? It's about you, not for you. You can make Julia butter before you go back to Roy's. No, I couldn't. Hey, you'll make yourself ill not eating. I'll get some soup in, eh? You can have it later. Oh, I'm all right, honestly. I'll only be two minutes. If the cab comes, tell him to wait. Right, that's a lot. I'll be back in a bit. See you later, Chess. How come the hospital let your dad out if you were going to die? Do you think he knew? I'm lied about it. We can't know, Chess. Not now. What's that? It was my uncle has his. Oh, has what's happened to my dad made you think about Les? He lied. Said he'd always be here. My mum lied. Said she wasn't ill when she was, and that she was when she wasn't. At least you've got Fizz you can trust, eh? Fizz only doesn't eat when she's scared or when she's ill. Oh, she's probably just filled up on biscuits at the factory. I'm not charging you for the extra passenger as it is. What extra passenger? Maria's little one. It's not born yet. Hey, excuse me, are you mine now? Uh, well, what, you don't charge you for that bag, Fizz? What? Uh, this is soup for Julie. Take it in, will ya? Wait, sir. Uh, I'll uh, tell you on the way. <laughs> Is that the Weatherfield Home School Network? Yeah, my sister asked me to check what time the meeting this afternoon starts. There isn't one. Sure. No, she must have got the wrong date. Oh.
John. <gasps> Oi! Oi? Where did Fisk go? Oh, here we go. Someone disappears now and everyone thinks a cabbie abducted her. I mean, where did you drop her off? You two fell out. Nah, I'm not getting involved. Do you like status quo? You saying I got bad air? This, it's collectible. You can have it if you say where she went. Henson Street, bottom end. Don't know why though, there's no down there. Not an hospital nearby, or a clinic around. Oh, no hospital there. Unless they've got hospital wing on the uh, prison round the corner. Prison? I did try. Ask at the hospital if I can make a call. Take no notice of me. They wouldn't let me. No one would tell me anything. I didn't mean to frighten you. The prison wouldn't. The hospital. I'm going to do a month at a time from now on. Lesson plans for chess. Keep ahead. Then, if something like this... <sighs> Don't get hurt again. No. Do you know how hard I've worked not to feel anything for you? And then you go and disappear on me and no one would tell me anything. I even asked at the morgue. I'm sorry. I don't want to love you. I love you. I love you too. Liar! You liar! Chez! Chesney! <sighs> Corrie returns in half an hour. Chez, I know you're angry with me. At least let me explain myself. I don't want to hear it. Please. Just shut up, will you? It's not fair on Julie. Right then. Outside. Now. Hear what you like. It's obvious I count for nothing. Chesney, you know that is not true. Just imagine how I felt when I heard you'd been to the hospital without telling me. I thought you were dead ill. I'm sorry. I wish you were ill. Anything's better than you sneaking off to see Steve. The car's here. Oh. What's going on? Nothing. Liar. Oh, Kirk, now's not the time, OK? Let's just focus on Julie. We're all she's got. In your mouth. How's Julie? She'll be all right. Makes you think, doesn't it? A funeral. Really brings it home to you that the most important thing in this life is your family. That's cheap, that is. Using a funeral to get to me. Oh, Ches, I'm not. What does John Stape have to do before you stop caring about him? Murder someone? Don't be daft. When he came out about what he'd done to Rosie Webster, I had nightmares. Thinking about what he might do to you. He'd never harm me. He already has. Having a thing with her while he was pretending to be in love with you. 
locking her up for weeks, putting her family through hell. I worry myself sick over you. You obviously couldn't give a stuff about me. My feelings don't even matter. You are the most important person in my life. You're the reason I went to see John again. You're joking. He's been helping me with your education. So all those times, you said you were going to get advice from the home schooling blog. You were sneaking off to see Stape. You selfish cow! Chesney. You wanted to see him for yourself, not for me. You just used me as an excuse. No, it wasn't like that. You've brought that mental case back into our lives without a thought for anyone but yourself. You pathetic! Chesney. Get out! What? Out! Chesney. Go on! Get out! No. Go on! I can't stand the sight of you! Chesney, please! Johnny? Oh, who do you think? Oh, you've not been seeing Stape. I don't believe it. I've never seen him so angry. Chesney! Can't lend us your key. Well, Fizz, why don't you just give him a bit of time, eh? Let him cool down. Oh, do you want me to have a word with him? I don't think it'll do any good. Can I have hurt him so much? Come in here, come on. Oh. Don't blame you, mate. I was shot and all after everything Stape's done to her. Worst thing is. She used me as an excuse. I don't know why I'm so shocked. This is what always happens eventually. People use me. End of. Not Fizz. She's not like that. She only took me on in the first place because she had no choice. I'm nothing but a pain in the backside to her. You're getting things all twisted up in your head. She thinks the world of you, does Fizz? All my life it's been the same. Better be nice, be good. Do as I'm told, or else they might just shove me back in care. You go. I'll be fine. Honest, mate. Get back to Julie. It's like when you go and see someone in hospital and they're sort of less than themselves, do you know what I mean? They somehow look smaller than they are and more vulnerable. It was like that seeing John in prison. My heart went out to him. After everything he's done to you, I love him. I can't imagine my life without him in it. But, oh, somehow, I've got to try. For Chesney's sake. Chesney! Called the place. Well, no, phone him first. Oh, it's me. Where are you? Look, I know we've had words, but it's nothing we can't sort out. Please just phone me. At least let me know you're safe. How long's it been missing oh, for? Hey, hey, you've not seen Chesney, have you? Oh, that copper top, that. Yeah, have you seen him? Uh, I dropped him off at Piccadilly train station. What time? I don't know. About half an hour ago, something like that. Did he say where he was going? No. no. Sorry, love, no. Please, Chez, when you get this, ring me. I just want to know you're safe. 
Okay? This phone's still off. Here you are. Sit down and have this. You look worn out. Did you go to Piccadilly then? Yeah, but he'd already gone. I just wish I'd been here. I know I couldn't have done anything, but still... Don't be daft, eh? You've had enough to cope with. The police will soon find him. I hope so. What I don't understand is why he ran off. I mean, what was the row about? Her seeing John State, that's what. Only to get help for Ches. Teaching him and that. Oh, Fizz. Anyway, it doesn't matter why he went. What matters is getting him back. <sighs> Look, just around town. He might not have got on the train. He might have changed his mind. Will you let me know if anything happens, yeah. will you? Yeah. Of course. You're still mad at me, aren't you? Well, you never run off if you haven't been seen, Steve. Shh, shh. Hi, Fizz. Any news? Um, no, nothing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know what you're going through, believe me. Mm. Do you want us to help you look for him? Mum, Dad's waiting to take us into town. Well, never mind. He'll probably be relieved. No, no, it's all right. Well, thanks anyway. Poor Fizz. She must be worried sick. The eggs doing them scrambled or fried. You can't dip your sausage in a scrambled egg. Weather's looking up. Yeah, we could eat outside. Get in the mood for Paris. Oh, good idea. Shall I get some croissants instead? That'll be a lot easier. Ooh. Get the deck chairs out. Mm, they need a clean. Well, it won't take you long. What's he doing in our shed? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? He's run away. I know he's run away. I dropped him off at Piccadilly train station last night. You are? I didn't know he were legging it. Not till his sister said. He's just a kid. Did you not think it were a bit odd? <laughs> Do you remember when our Gary did that? <laughs> Packed some cornflakes in a rucksack but came back because he'd forgotten the milk. Forgotten the milk. <laughs> <laughs> We're not mad at you. You must be starving, you poor thing. I've run off. I haven't. Well, first you're at the train station, then you're in our shed. I've fallen out of fizz, so I went to Northampton. Northampton? I suppose it must have its attractions. My brother Billy lives there. Oh, at least he did. When I got there, I found out he'd moved about a year ago. Oh, all that way for nothing. So what do you do now? I don't know. Go to London, maybe. Oh, you don't want to go there. Price of beer's a disgrace. We won't make you go home if you don't want, but at least let me tell your sister you're all right. She'd be worried to death. Do you not want that sausage? No. Mm. Can I have a drink, please? Sure, go, go. Coke, don't you? Chess! What are you doing? Getting out of here. Well, look, come inside, we know one's in. Quick. Shh. What's happened? Can't tell you. Oh, come on, Ches, it can't be that bad. It is. You don't know that you're well off, you and telling you. I'd love to have a sister like Fizz. You wouldn't say that if you knew what she'd done. Oh, why? What's she done? Burnt your dinner? Give you too much homework? She's been seeing John Stape, that's what. Writing him letters and going to visit him in prison. Now do you understand? It's all right. 
I don't blame you. It is my fault. He'll be all right. And what if he's not, eh? How am I going to live with that? <laughs> oh, thank goodness you're back. Why? What's happened? Oh, it's all right. Your brother's fine. I found him asleep in our shed this morning. <sighs> I called around to tell you, but you were out. Well, we've been looking all over. So he's okay? Yeah. I tried to persuade him to go home, but he wouldn't have any. Fact, he ran off again. But Eddie saw him going into next door with that sofa. I've kept my eyes peeled and he's not coming. Oh, out. thanks, Anna. See? I told you you'd be all right. Yeah. Hiya. I take it he's still here, then. Chairs, it's Fizz and Kirk. Don't go away. Please, Chairs. I just want to see you're all right. There. Now go away. I want you to come home. You don't care what I want. Why should I care about you? I do care! Look, just come back with me. We can sort this out. It's too late for that. I won't make you stay if you really don't want to, but at least let's talk things through first, eh? So Michael's been pining for you. He doesn't understand what's happened. All right, I'll come back. But just for a bit. Then I'm off. See you later, Chaz. Oh, you found him then? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, Chesney, you've had your sister worried sick. She must be so relieved. Yep. Oh, brings it all back. Yeah, well, don't let it. That's all over with now. Yeah. Oh, but the cattle I had me feet are killing me. Hey, did you know Chesney was back? Yeah, it was me that found him. Well, sort of. You? Who? Oh. I seen him running through the gardens, so I just persuaded him to come in. Well done, you. Yeah, one step nearer to entering heaven. Oh, give up, Rosie. So did he say why he ran off? Yeah. Well? Well, you're not going to like it. How do you mean? It's far with Fizz because she's seen John State. Leave the nerve of her! No, me neither. How long's it been going on, did he say? Sounded like a few weeks. A few weeks. Been seeing him from the start, more like. I think I was feeling sorry for her. Yeah, but she's not really done anything wrong, has she? You what? Well, Jesus forgave sinners. Why can't we? Uh, Jesus wasn't kidnapped and held in a house for five weeks. No, but Jesus was crucified, which I think's a bit worse, and didn't sell his story to the paper after it. Well, you both just shut it. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go and tell her to her. Yeah, I'll come in with you. Yeah, so am I. No! Wait, you... It's all the lies. That's what really gets me. Look, if you'll just give me another chance, I promise I'll be honest from now on. OK. Admit why you were really seeing Stip. I told you. I couldn't find a tutor, and Ken couldn't help. So See? You're still lying now. You're in love with him, aren't you? Go on, say it. I'll get it. No, I will. How could you? How could you after everything he's done to our daughter? Oh, please. And all this time you've been set opposite me at work, knowing that you're still seeing him. It wasn't like that. <sighs> you betrayed me. I thought we were friends. We oh! Not anymore, we're not. Look, look, I'm sorry, I, I can't deal with this right now. Don't walk away from me. Oh, I want answers. I want to know what's going on in that sick little mind of yours. You can't just barge in here. I'll do what the hell I like. She does. Fuck so. Well, come on. I want to know. I'm not doing anything wrong. You what? You actually think he's all right after what he's put us to? No! Get off her! Get off her! Stop it! Just let go! That's enough! Let go, Sal! Let go! 
lock you up. Lock you up in your own attic for a month and see how you like it. Sally, calm down, eh? How can she still be seeing him? I've done nothing wrong. She can't even see it. He's a criminal. He's a kidnapper. Yeah, and he's being punished. Well, not enough if you ask me. Can you not see what you're doing? I thought he was mad. Now I know you are and all. I was trying to help Chesney with his schooling. Oh, that's your pathetic excuse. It's not an excuse, it's the truth. You could have got any one of a million people to help Chesney with his schooling, but no, you chose a man who kidnapped and terrorised my daughter. Because I didn't know who It's else. like saying, oh, it's all right, he's a criminal. He's forced my family into a living hell for five weeks, but oh, so what? He's still a good teacher. Oh, she's off her head. Oh, Rosie's right, you're off your head. You're sick and you're dangerous. You know what? They should lock you up and all. You never know. They might let two nutcases share right. a cell. That's enough. Uh, who rattled your cage? Dad. Come on. We've made our point. She still doesn't see it, does she? Look at her. Don't thank me. I agree with him. Don't. Where are you going? Out. Talk to me. Nothing to say. Then let me explain. You can't. I was seeing John to help you. So it's my fault? No! But, Ches, I'm sorry. It's not me that needs educating. It's you. Do you not remember what he did? Yeah, I remember. And you keep going back. Every time he betrays you. Are you on drugs? No. In that case, there's something wrong in your head. Ches, please don't run away again. Either you dump him or I'm dumping you. Ches. You can see him as much as you want, Fizz. But I'm not going to be your brother anymore. You're on your own. Chesney! How is she? Mad. Chess, she's not mad. She's visiting John Stape in prison. That is the medical definition of being mad. Yeah, well, maybe it's changed. He betrayed her. Twice. Chesney! Look, people do things that they need to be forgiven for. That's just the way it is. Don't go weird on me. Ew, Ches, I'm not weird. Do you forgive him? For kidnapping your sister? Scaring her half to death and driving your mum and dad to the wit's end? Look, he pleaded guilty. He accepts his punishment. Yeah, I forgive him. Then you're as mad as my sister. What if he runs away again, Kirk? I don't know what to do. He, he won't listen to me. He's upset. We're all upset. He's been rubbish to you. And you still go and see him. It's like, we care about you, but you don't give a stuff about us. I'm going to see if I can find Chesney. Um. Yeah, I've got a visiting order. Number 7286. John Stape. As soon as possible, please. It's really important. You exploit. Only I've got to get back by six, because I'm the quiz master. She's going to prison to see John Stape. Is that right? I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She was pretending he was helping with my schoolwork. But that's just a pack of lies. If you just let me try to explain. You lie to me, you lie to yourself. You probably even lie to him. I don't care anymore. Like I said, you're on your own. Are we staying or are we going? We're going. Holy surprise, I've had in a long time. How are you? Yeah, better for seeing you. I never expected to see you today. Oh, it was a last minute thing. I had a visiting order burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Well, I don't care. I'm really chuffed to see you. Are things a bit better now? Things are a lot better. 
There's a, a trick you have to do with your mind. It's like you have to become another person. You have to be a prisoner, accept it, and understand that it will be over soon. And then you can survive. If you think you're better than everyone else, then it's hard. Sorry for dumping all this on you. You've got enough problems in here. So now everyone knows. God knows what it's going to be like at work tomorrow. All I've ever done is lay you down and cause you suffering. You deserve so much better than me. Hey, I don't give a stuff about the Websters. What about Chesney? Well, he'll come round. He just needs time. There's no way this can possibly work. I love you. You lose everything that matters to you. I can't let you do this. We have to stop this now. Okay, come on, guys, settle down, settle down. We can't do this. It's not fair. It's not fair for you to lose everything you care about because of me. But that's my choice. You can't come here again. You can't stop me. Actually, that's the one thing I can do. You've used your last visit in order. There won't be any others. John. I have brought nothing but misery into your life. I can't do it anymore. Don't do this. It's over. Go home and tell everyone. I won't leave. Please. I don't want to see you again. I don't want to hear from you. This is the right thing to do. Look at me. Say goodbye to me. No. Say goodbye. But I love you. You love me. John. Oh, please, John. Please. No. Come on, love. John. Get off me. John. In that case, I'll see you in the morning. Bring me back a pot. I know you don't want to be here, but you have to face the world, just like I had to with the stigma of me poor old dad, may he rest in peace. Oh, I mean, you can't have it both ways. You can't have brass neck to come in and then spend all morning in kitchen. Weeping. This is true. This is a strict no weeping zone. Julie's no better, Aiden and Betty. Honestly, if Carla was here, she wouldn't stand for this. If Tony was here, he wouldn't stand for this. He's too lenient, is Luke. Just like the judge who put away John's state. This is true. <gasps> Julie said Piss had stepped off as he were over, and he never wanted to see her ever again. Can you imagine being told that by a convict? I mean, could you sink any lower? I probably could. Well, she wants to be careful. I mean, state's disowned her, chestnut's disowned her. She's going to end up like that back lady on precincts. Oh, she makes me feel sick of her. The one who's always shouting and dribbling. Val Morrison's her name. I want to call her right. She'd give me a ride, mouth. Yeah, well, she has a good sign. Oi! Julie, your face. Back to your stations, please. Now. Oh, shut up. And they're not stations. They're machines. Uh, would you like a verbal warning? Would you? Julie. Uh, Fizz, I'm serious. Those tissues will be coming out of your wages if this carries on. I'll have to report you. Tony's in Stoke. So what we're going to do with you? Nothing. Yeah, why aren't you coming down to Rain's gig? I get butterflies about stuff like that. What, music and girls? What, I have to dance? Yeah. Everyone's got to do a freestyle solo in the middle of the hall. <laughs> I'm only joking where you have to dance. Anyway, you'll take mind of things. In fairness, I'd love to see you dance. Hey, good morning to see that, Jezzers. 
This is to believe that that's the only reason you've been to see him. She was visiting him on a purely professional basis, strictly for Chesney's benefit. Yeah, because that's what I do, wouldn't you? For advice on homeschooling, please contact your local jail. <laughs> he just told me what books to buy, and he set all Chesney's homework like an essay on she stoops to conquer, which we never really got started on. Is that one of them smutty plays? Do you know something? I think brains are overrated. I bet you do. The amount you've spent with no return. Whatever happened to you and your A-level? Well, I was forced to give it she up. Fell out with your teacher. What was his name again? <laughs> I think education's a joke. All you need is luck. A-level luck is what I could do with. An A-level in keeping your mouth shut what you lot need. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. You back early, Mr. Strong? Yeah, I just on the M6 and they cancelled. Oh, the beggars. Do you think brains are overrated, Mr. Strong? Is that what you lot talk about? Well, amongst other things, we've been discussing crime, education and love. Try discussing sewing. Exactly. We need to forget about him, Fizz. I wrote to him at lunchtime. Saying what? Saying reconsider? Oh, Fizz, this is madness. Will you read the signs? The bloke's in prison and he still don't want to see you. Could it be any more doomed? He's sparing me. Yeah, well, maybe that'll be his one saving grace. You sound like the girls. Only kinda. It was horrible today. Felt like school. Where's this letter? Come on, Fizz, rip it up. I've sent it. Oh, you haven't. But Shad thinks that Ryan likes Tasman Beza. I mean, did you see her tonight? As soon as he got off the stage, she was all over him. She even felt his bum. Shan seen it with her own eyes. As opposed to who? Sure. Did you see it? Not that actual Bonfield, no. I still don't trust her. So you I stay clear of her. I thought she was going out with that Anton Scrivens. Or is it that Kenzie Judd? Shh, don't mention the Judd. What? What? Is Kenzie Judd the reason why he dropped out of school? I didn't drop out. He's a big woman. I told him that I read her. You scared of Phil? Phil? Wheelchair, Phil. Don't be calling him that. Phil gave him a Chinese burning infants, apparently. Been terrified of him ever since. So, if Judd's giving you agro chairs, fails your man. And you'll have me for backup as well, if it comes to it. You? I thought you were against violence. What are you going to do? Forgive him into submission? <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, morning, Chess. How was your gig last night? Did you have a nice time? I'm going back to school. What? On Monday, when the orders are over, I've decided. What's brought this on? Can't stay off forever, can I? And what about the bullying? After I to stick up for myself. <laughs> Against Kenzie Judd and his mates? Ben and Phil said I can hang around with her lot if there's any trouble. They'll protect me. Right. Well, if you're sure that's what you want. It is. I'll, I'll ring the school and sort it out then. If you're doing this to stop me seeing John, you needn't bother. It's to stop me seeing you. I don't want to pass my exams next year. It's not like you're giving me proper teaching, is it? Well, no, but... As for you seeing him, you saw out my life. I don't care what you do anymore. That's a good Monday, then. I bet you can't wait. I'll be well glad to get out of here and all that. Oh, things will get better. That's just it. They won't. They can't. Chess. Before you start about forgiveness and whatever, it's not about that, OK? What's it about, then? I don't trust her, all right? Simple as that. But you rebuild trust. What? Everything's one big lie with his. She's my sister, and I don't even know her anymore. Aw, Chess. That's well said, that. Tell me about it. What do you reckon to these sausages? Eh? Gorgeous or what? Yeah, they're nice. 
After your tea, fetch us your uniform so I can get it washed and ironed. It's all right. Hey, you can't go back to school looking like some of the cats dragged in. I said it's all right. Oh, we're only offering. Well, don't. Look, I'm not being ungrateful, but I don't want anything from you, OK? Not this. Nothing. From now on, you do your thing and I'll do mine. With any luck, you won't even know I'm here. Listen to yourself. Come on. I know we've been through a bad patch, but you can't mean that. It's the only way this is going to work. Really? Well, I'm not prepared to live like that. Then I'm gone for good next time. Don't you dare threaten me. It's not a threat. I'm just being honest. Please. Chairs. I'll make it up to you. At least let us try. What's the point? You can only go and blow it again. I don't deserve this! No. You deserve John. Now, I want you... Are you listening? No. I want you to ring me when you have your dinner time to let me know you're OK. Why? Because I'll be worrying. And if you don't, and this is not a threat, it's a promise, then I shall turn up to your school and I shall come into your classroom asking about you in front of everybody. Do you want that? No, I don't think you do, so ring me, right? Yeah, OK. Oh. Come in. Hi, where's the redder? Um, well, he's not talking to me, so you better ask him. All right, Chess. Only the bus leaves in about five minutes, mate, so you all set? Can't wait. You've no idea how good school sounds after her teaching me. I'm sure Fizz was a great teacher. Oh, yeah, best there is, if you want to learn how to lie. Chesna, don't say that. You don't mean that. Uh, I think he does. Anyway, listen, you two, I'm ever so grateful. And what for? We're going to school anyway, so we might as well take him with us. Yeah, and if Kenzie just says out, Ben will see him off. And if I don't, I know you will. Have you seen this one kicking off? Uh, I've seen her mother. Is she anything like her? What's that? Fierce? Scared of nothing? Yep. <laughs> Very funny. Right, we're going now anyway. I don't want to stand about here talking about nothing all day. Yeah, we're going. Bye. Bye, Ben. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. Oh. Post. Oh, cheers. Peter. I just thought that you must have stayed over at Luke's. <laughs> Peter's. Well, you want to make your mind up? Ugh, I have, which is that I'm not going to see either of them ever again. Do you know, I think that is probably a good idea. Mm. I'll get that. Oh, thanks, love. But, you know, maybe it's just because I knew I was leaving, you know, that I spent the night with Peter. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just a bad girl, aren't I? Hey, there's a lot worse round here. Hmm. Oh, that is true. Uh -huh. oh, thanks. Hiya, Fizz. Hiya. Right, I'm going to go and get dressed. Well, just remember to keep your clothes on this time, eh? <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> well, I did, but I honestly don't want to hear any more. Right, and you're not going to. Listen, I'm going to give you some money for Phil's mum as well as some for you to keep, so come on. Are you not working? No, I've taken a day off in case anything happens with Chesney. Oh, yeah, he's gone back to school today, hasn't he? Yeah, and fingers crossed he stops there. <laughs> but look at what I've just got through the post. What is it? It's the last letter I wrote to John. I just put it in an envelope and sent it straight back. Why has he done that? To let me know he doesn't want to hear from me anymore. So you are pleased to be back then? Oh. Charming. You're Chesney. Yeah. He's gone back to school today. Anyway, he seems all right so far. No, what we're saying, everybody I know has been in prison. They've come out worse than when they went in. Is it a relative you're writing to, or...? It's just a friend. Oh. It seems to make them hard, do you know what I mean? And the nicer they've been before they go in, the worse it affects them. Which is why I was so relieved our Gary was acquitted. 
You know that business with David Plank was up in court for? Yeah, I remember. Oh, I can't tell you what a load off my mind that was. Hey, this. Anna, that phone call from Emily. The one you nearly weren't there for. <laughs> yes, yeah. She's asked me, can I pick up some uh, provisions for a church function so I'm off to wholesale? Are you going to be all right on your own for a bit? Of course I am. All oh, right, well, I won't be long. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye, Hayley. Your friend might be different. He might come out and be just the same as he was when he went in. Postman gave me these. Right, I won't be long. I've just got to iron this top to wear. It's all right, I'm early anyway. Hiya, Ches. Hiya. Hey, we could hire a game tonight if you want. No, it's all right. He never wants to play anymore. He's growing up, unlike some. It's not that. It's that he doesn't like being here. And I don't blame him. And it's from John. What is it? It's the letter I sent him. He just keeps sending them back to me. I would appreciate if you didn't try to contact me anymore. Regards, John. Oh, fizz. It's like he's writing to a stranger. Couldn't even manage a dear fizz. Maybe. Don't! Say, maybe it's for the best, please. But it's, if it's what he wants... That's the point. He doesn't want it. Neither do I. Got any jobs they do it? <sighs> Plan, sir. <laughs> None for a kid, I'm afraid. I'm not a kid. I'm 15 next month. And I'm strong and hard working. Well, I'm sure you're all these things. But I won't be allowed to employ anyone your age. Health and safety and all that. Look, I'm sorry. Right. Why? You saving up for something? Yeah, when I'm 16 and I can leave home. You're kicking that around the playground with your mates. Haven't got any. Hiya. Um, have you had your lunch? I've had I can... chips. Oi! There's a bucket inside. This one needs washing. And then the other one when we've finished. Tell what it is you're going to say to him. I've got it all prepared, don't worry. Hey, Kelly's not coming in this morning because of what happened yesterday. And you're not going to fall for the soft soaping when they say everything's in hand and there's nothing to worry about. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you, Janice. Hey, Fizz! You don't mind, do you? What? I said no at first, but he kept coming back in the end I caved in. What are you on about? Chesney, he asked me for the job, so I'll give him one. Doing what? Well, she cares. When was this? Well, yesterday. Did not say out. So, he's going to be working when? Saturdays? Well, evenings and whenever. No. He never said a word. Look, uh, things not great between you two by any chance. Thought as much. Why'd you say that? Oh, just from what he was saying, you know. Like he needed to save up to pay his own way. Like he didn't want to be beholden. Kevin, he knows he doesn't have to do that. I pay for everything. I, I give him pocket money. I know. Look, I went through a phase like that at that age. He'll soon grow out of it. I hope you're right. Yeah. Side. A job like that might be good for him. Ow! Well, if it helps him feel more grown up more in control of his own destiny might make him less hostile to you. You reckon? One of the hardest things in life is letting go of the people we love. It has to be done. The other way to keep love is to give it away. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. I read it on a Christmas card. Hello? Speaking? Sorry. Uh, coffee to go, please. Well, thanks for telling me. Yeah, bye. 
You look how I feel. I don't know how much more I can take. Why? What's happened? I don't know if you knew. I've been visiting John in prison. Well, I had heard, yeah. That was his personal officer. He says he's got clinical depression. Oh, no, that's terrible. Yeah, but John won't see me, though, because of what he's doing to me and Chesney. I can't bear the thought of being without him, Hayley. I really love him. Oh, Fizz. What am I going to do? <sighs> me and Roy have got every sympathy about you seeing John in prison. Really? Lots of people talk about forgiveness. Very rare to see them do it. Mm. I've not really been able to talk to anybody. Oh, you should have come to us. I wish I had. It's been driving me mad. Mm. And now you know I've lost Chesney because of it. I can't believe that. Oh, he's just hurt. He knows deep down that you love him. You reckon? Of course he does. Oh, guys, you don't know what a relief this is. Everybody, everybody's been against me. The thing to address now is John's condition. But what can I do? He won't see me. He just sends me letters back. I was thinking, does he have access to a library? Well, yeah, there is one there, but I don't know if it's any good. Well, perhaps if I lent you some books, you could send them to No, he's... See my handwriting and post them back. Well, then get someone else to send them. Yeah. Oh, I could ask... Lloyd. They were mates when he worked at Streetcar. Yeah, well, you pop back later and I'll dig out a few select novels. Thanks, Ross. Oh, sponge, Rita. Thank you. And Norris, you've got a fruit loaf and a Bakewell tart. Oh, and what are we going to do with half the church cake stall? Oh, what do you usually do? Creep down and have a midnight snack. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Full shop. <laughs> You said there's a credit squeeze. Oh. Cut price card and uh, idle gossip. It's hardly the upturn in the economy we were all praying for. I'm not sure I like being called a gossip. And if we're so idle, tell him to get his own cake. <sighs> have things to do. Uh, uh, sorry, no, Norris. Norris. Um, I just wondered if uh, we share the same taste in single malts. We don't even share the same taste in continents. In life. We share no history. We don't share the same taste in books, in films, oh, in Isle theater. of Killane. That's your all-time favourite, isn't it? Uh, no. May you be forgiven. We buy him a bottle every Christmas and every birthday. And I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> Terrible heartburn. Oh, it's a... yes. oh, that's lovely. It's like Schmeichel. Yeah. Oh, don't bother with the bag, Rita. Uh, for Chesney? Um, no, it's um, for someone else. Thanks, bye. Bye, love. Bye. <laughs> Must be something in the air. No, it's the effect I have. I should give up. Open this and draw my sorrows. Oh, we can do better than that. Let's sneak off and I'll make us some tea. Yes? No, oh, sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, but it's only... <laughs> oh, call it flexi time. Shall I bring my cake? We'll break into Norris's. Serves him right. <laughs> <laughs> Norris! Shop! Oh, you look like three naughty children. You're not far wrong, love. See, if he knows it's from me, he'll just send it straight back. What do I say? Anything. Just so he knows the world's not forgotten him. Oh, let me guess. Your local friendly kidnapper and liar. Nothing to do with you, actually. But the world's forgotten him, hasn't it? John who? Oh, prisoner 666. <laughs> right, come on. Come on, before she comes back out. Say, um, say, to help pass the long days. It's a bit girly, isn't it? Mm, in case you're bored. Of course he's bored. He's in the nick. All right, just sign it. All right. What now? Right, the address. Quick, that one. You want to join us sometime, are you? Oh, the rest of the day in the warmth of your company. Hold me back. No. Let's have a final spurt, shall we, for the last hour? I wouldn't be behind of a certain person I've been skiving all up here. I've been out Someone's birthday, she's got to catch the coat. Oh, some people believe any old line. 
When you look at her family, though, Les and Scylla, it's no wonder she thinks a kidnap is a good catch. Oh, meow. Well, let's just hope we're as happy if we don't make our targets tonight. Oh, give it a rest, Sal. Fizz does a fair share and more. And she doesn't spend her entire life whinging. And I'm back now. And I will make up the time. Thanks. Ta. Get it all done? Yeah, just about. Um. Oh, is there any more two centimetre trim? Stop room. I suppose I can go to the loo, can I? Fly over the rainbow. You're mad, you are. Why then, oh, why? See what happens when he gets some overtime. Where does he get it all from? Look! Look what someone's done. Spiteful cow. Aye. How could you be so cruel? Calm down, Fizz. What's going off? Ask her. I seem to have upset the convict's girlfriend. She's ripped the heart out of these books. What book? It was the great John Sape himself gave me that idea. Have you been sending him stuff? Always going on about how great books are. I can't believe anyone could be so spiteful. She's got a degree in it. That's it, Justice. He cares more about books than he does about people. They weren't even my books, these. Roy lent them to me. Oh, well, he won't do that again, will he? Yeah, yeah right, that's it's... enough. Come on, you'll both lose your jobs. He's watching. Haven't you got any compassion? He's a broken man. Good. I hope he rots. Sally, give it a rest. Me? I have lost everything. I can't even see John anymore. Because he won't call. He won't read my letters. My brother, he's barely talking to me. Well, that's what happens when you side with a pervert. And he's ill. I'm going home. Tell Luke I've done my quota. Bye-bye. Have a lovely evening. Oh, shut up, Sally. So, let me get this straight. Luke needs some ready cash and he wants you lot to cough up. He's offering shares, Kevin. It's an investment. It's all legal and above board. Mm, I've heard that before. Hey, it's no difference than the chance that you gave to Tyrone. Mm. There's no comparison. I'm still the boss. And there's a little thing called the recession. Folk will always need underwear. It's the one thing in life you can't do without. I don't know. Save a few quid. I don't care if you were. Kevin? Oh, natural. Therapeutic, they reckon. Ignore your father. Well, a bit of circulation down below. Mind, I'm trying to be serious here. This is a wonderful business opportunity. OK, what's the bottom line? I think it's called a gossip. Thank you. Here I am, trying to secure our future, and all you can do is make fun. As long as it's not another one of your power trips where you can go in the taxi being the big I am. I resent that, Kevin. Sorry, my mistake. Someone's been busy. I'm pretty certain they're in the right order. Thank you, Kurt. As long as you know I didn't do it for him. But what Sally did, that was just plain horrible. Anyway, at least he won't miss out on anything now. You'll still know someone's damaged the book. I'll just say Michael got hold of him or something. Oh. Kirk, I have to see John. I have to explain to him before he tries to read them. The books have already been posted. Then I'll have to go today. Fizz. I am not letting that spiteful cow win. You can't just turn up at the prison. Watch me. You're not running a temperature. I've told you already, I feel dizzy and my stomach hurts. Probably food poisoning. Well, how can it be? We're all fine. It's probably just a bugger somewhere. Yeah, scaviitis. Oh, so much for compassion. You're supposed to be the Christian. Maybe you should go to the doctors. Yeah, or maybe we should organise a mass prayer. Sophie. I just want to sleep. Oh. Probably the best thing for you. Yeah. And drink plenty of water. 
Well, I should let Luca Tony know. Oh, don't worry, love. I'll sort it out. You just rest up. Get yourself well, kiddo. See ya. Morning. Oh, Mr. Garden. You'll be looking for Maria. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, um, I just thought I'd check if you needed anything. But uh, no, I'm fine. And um, Tony's going to be staying over for a couple of days. Oh, and 24 hour baby alerts. Okay. Well, um, I should be getting off to work. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for calling out. Oh, don't be daft. I'll go to work then. Bye, Fizz. I think your little secret might be out. Has anybody seen the stock inventory? I thought um, that I might. Behind have... you! Your Rosie uh, picked a great day to throw a sickie. With all due respect, she didn't throw a sickie. Because when I saw her, she was in genuine discomfort. Forget it. She wouldn't dream of abusing your trust. I saw that look. What are you on about? If you've got something to say, say it to me face. Uh, OK, ladies. I think maybe you're a bit oversensitive. Now, I want you both to take a big, deep breath. Oh, and I wonder why that is. Oh, that's right, because that psychotic book buddy of yours kidnapped my daughter. Uh, in my office. Play a different record, why don't you, Sally? Now! Please! She started this. You've got a nerve! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Look. I know you two have issues, but I can't be doing with it, ladies. I'm sorry. Whatever the beef, you park it outside, and that goes for everyone in this factory. Got enough plates to juggle here without having to ref your domestics. Right? Not if you understand. Tops, off you go. That includes you, Fizz. Hmm. Now is probably not the best time to ask you a favour. No, it's not. But give it a shot anyway. I need the afternoon off. I would have asked you earlier, to be honest, but you look stressed up to the eyeballs. Yeah, well, what Rosie's got rot, you and Sally giving it Ali and Frazier and Tony going AWOL. Bit hard to fit in the yoga. <laughs> Mr Gordon's looking after Maria. Come again? I, um, saw him round there first thing. OK, now I'm totally confused. Yeah, so, um, back to this afternoon. I wouldn't normally give you so little notice, but something important has come up. I'll make up the hours. Yeah, you can have the time. I do one. Thanks, Luke. Um, I'm here to see John Stape, please. And your name? Fizz. I mean, Fiona Brown. Your name's not on the list. No, I know. It was kind of last minute, like. Can I get on the list? Do you have a visiting order? No. Then I can't help you. The inmate must provide authorization. But I've visited him before. Then you should know the rules now, if you don't mind. Fizz. I'm begging you. Oh, come on, leave it, yeah. Do you want to see him dead? Do you really want that on your conscience? What do you want about? John is very vulnerable at the moment. Aren't we all? Because I sent him some books, but somebody vandalised them, see, they took all the pages Mate, out. I think you need to... Yeah, uh, come on, Fizz. No, no, look! I know he is just another face to you. A part of the job. But I love him. He's everything to me. I just want him to know someone cares, OK? Please. Please, he's not writing himself. I, I only need a few minutes. Wait here. No promises, but I'll see what I can do.
Okay, so you've had your cheap little thrill. Now what the hell do you want, sicko? And we'll be back in Coronation Street in half an hour. Are you just going to sit there perving at me or what? You said in your letter that you wanted to see me. Yeah. I just... <laughs> I never actually thought that you'd turn up. You mean you didn't think I'd have the nerve? Well, guess what? I stopped being scared of you a long time ago. So? Please, Rosie, this isn't easy for me. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No. But I am truly sorry. For what? Kidnapping and locking me up? Or having to share a shower with all the other weirdos. Can you keep your voice down? You do not tell me what to do anymore. Now, are you going to tell me what all this is about? Otherwise, unlike you, I'm out of here. It started a dozen letters to you. But I can never find the right words. Just get on with it, will you? I'm trying to. All right, look, why do you think I became a teacher? Because you're too boring to be an accountant. Because I wanted to do something worthwhile to help kids make the most of themselves. Ah, so locking me in an attic was for my benefit, was it? Some sort of extended study period. <laughs> what happened to you? What I did to you? I'll never be able to apologise enough for that. But one thing about being in here is it gives you a chance to think, reflect. So, I know I can't change the past, but maybe I can change the future. Yours. Right. Well, I'm guessing it must be medication time, so I'm gonna... I'm trying to help you here. I know you, Rosie, and I know that underneath all that attitude, there's a bright, intelligent young woman. You should be at university, not in a factory. Oh, like I'm really going to take career advice from somebody who probably has to pee in a bucket every morning. Fine. Just take the money. What money? I sold my grand's house. After I'd settled all the debts, there was still quite a lot left. It won't make up for what I've done, but... Well, how much? £150,000. Maybe oh. John's all right. Kirk, he was beaten up and he's clinically depressed. And now he won't even see me. There might be another reason for that. Like what? He might have met someone else. Fizz. going on? Why aren't you at work? Women's problems, mate. You don't want to know. You're lying. It's to do with him, innit? Step. Why'd you say that? Because he's the only thing you care about anymore. Yes? Well, Carney's washing if you fancy earning a few quid. All right. <laughs> Where are you going? Get the bucket in the shabby. Well, go and get changed first. Don't want Fez on me back because your uniform's ruined. She can get stuffed. What, you two had another now? Yeah. All right. Tell us all about it while you're putting these overalls on. Why can't she just see that he's a scumbag and deserves to be locked up? I can't argue with that, but you can't help who you fall for. Don't work that way. Hey, but whatever happens, You'll always be the most important person alive. Remember that. Yeah? Hi, Jess. 
How's it go again? Wax out, wax out. Hey, leave him alone. He's doing a good job. All right, Ben? Hey, Mr. Webster. How's it going? It'll be better when you start calling me Kevin. Mm. Are you sure? He's been called worse. <laughs> um, Dad, is it I for Bob at Swarehouse and watch a DVD, please? Yeah, keep the noise down. Your sister's not feeling well, remember? Mm, yeah. Are you coming, Chaz? I'm okay, thanks. All right. Well, uh, don't let him fob you off with a minimum wage, Robbie. <laughs> You yeah. My solicitor will be in touch later to sort out the details. And the money will be in your account in the next few days. That's if you want it. Of course I want it. I just want to know what I've got to do for it. Nothing. Well, maybe one thing. Oh, here we go. This is a lot of money, Rosie. You could use it to pay your way through university. Or maybe even get on the property ladder. What I'm trying to say is, it would mean a lot to me if something positive came out of all of this. Look, get over yourself. You're not Santa or the secret millionaire. This is compensation. And I deserve that money. And you're only giving it me to make yourself feel better. But do you know what would make me feel better? Jimmy Choo's, Dolce Gabbana, and lying on a beach somewhere hot. So I shall take the money, but I shall spend it how I want to. <laughs> Cheer up. Maybe this time I'll send you a postcard. John, it's Fizz. Don't panic, I'm not going to start singing. <laughs> Only, I've tried writing and phoning. And since I don't know how to do smoke signals, I figured I'd give this a go. I'm really worried about you. And I know... You don't want to see me because you're trying to stop me from getting hurt. But this hurts more. Not knowing what's going on or if you're okay. to the pub. Keep trying, but they won't serve us. <laughs> you listening to tapes? Yeah, somewhat like that. Chess. this thing with me and John... I don't want to talk about him, Fizz. All right. Come here, let's talk about something else, then. Our school. It's all right. And what about Kenzie? Won't come near us when Ben's around. Sort of has the opposite effect on the girls, though. Oh, eh? Maybe you should take advantage of that. Maybe. <laughs> Can I watch TV? Judge Judy's on in a minute. Oh, she's dead funny when she goes ballistic. Yeah? Do you mind if I watch it with you? I thought you were listening to your tapes. Oh. That can wait. Obviously, I'd love to be a partner in the business, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to say no. It's fine, Sally. I understand. It's just that our money's tied up in so many other things. Like, I've been planning on buying a suite for a conservatory. Did I tell you we've got a conservatory? Once or twice, yeah. Hiya. Feeling better then, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was just one of those 24-hour things. Right, OK. Well, now we've established you can tell the time. See you tomorrow. And remember, when Mickey's hand's on the eight and the other's on half past. <laughs> yeah, but well, you could always give us a wake-up call yourself. I'll make sure she's there. Thanks. And you could rely on you. I told 
time you were ill. So? So you could lose your job. Is that all? <gasps> ah, Rachel! <laughs> you dozy troller! Did you hear what she called me? Mum? No. Shut up, Rosie. Soph? Didn't know you had company. Hey, Mum. I thought you was ill. Shouldn't you be a Bible class? A word. Oh, what now? Where have you been? Doctors. Don't lie to me. Oh, and I'm sorry, Mum. Got a call. Hello? Speaking. Uh, am I all right here? Or do you want me to walk on the other side of the street? I was a bit out of order before. I was late for work, so soz. Well, what are you doing out here if you're supposed to be working? Because if I have to listen to Daryl much longer, I'm going to do something nasty with a skewer. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the trouble about guys around here. They're either creeps or losers. Yeah, it's not really his fault. It's that stinking job. Oh, well, quit. Work's overrated anyway. And do what? Besides, you're at the factory, aren't you? Yeah, well, for now. And you got something else lined up. <laughs> yeah, well, you could say that. Come to finish the job, have you? Look, I just want to talk. I've given a statement to the police. If you're trying to get me to change it... I've told them I did it. I just want five minutes. Please. Oh, and I always thought cleanliness was next to godliness. Hey? Sophie and her mates have left a right mess. Oh, okay, clean it up. They're just scarpered. You've just missed Rosie and all. She's gone to get a takeaway for our dinner, her treat. Oh, thought she was ill. Yeah, me too. So, did you get to training today? No. They sort of molly did. Mm, because thieves, then, too. Oh, he's got a thick part sewn up. He's not that bad. At least he's fairly easy on the eye. Kevin, how many times have I told you not on a tea towel? Okay, I've uh, just got to nip out again. I forgot to do something. Well, what about your dinner? Won't be long. Kev? You've cooked us some. A couple of pizzas will do me. Oh, it's hardly a balanced diet, though, is it? It is if you're one in each hand. <laughs> Go and stick the oven on, then. Oh, another exciting night in. I still wouldn't swap places with you, believe me. You might not be saying that soon. Why is that? Ask your weirdo boyfriend. What do you mean? Well, I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. But let's just say that for once, it was quite good to see him. You saw John? Mm, this afternoon. you lying. He wasn't looking too good, though. Mind you, that broken arm did seem pretty nasty. Why did he want to see you? Sorry, got to go. Who are you talking to? Fizz. What? No one. Go back inside. Hello. Oh, hey. You all right? You look a bit pink, eh? Yeah? Oh, didn't get much sleep. Oh. I've got some Pro Plus in here. I'll saw you out. Mm. Have you got anything in there that makes slutty teenage nymphos disappear? Ah. When you say slutty teenage nymphos... Rosie Webster. What's she done now? Uh. <laughs> hey, do you fancy doing something tonight? Go to the gym. Oh, I'm starting to feel ignored. Us wives will be pleased that husbands are staying in shape. I'm so tired when you get back. I never get the benefit. If this is what footballers' wives have to put up with, it's no wonder they go shopping. Hey, Rosie, what are you doing? I thought you'd gone. Oh, I don't feel like it today. Oh, that's the kind of spirit that made Britain great. You can't pull a sickie, love. Luke saw you yesterday looking as healthy as a horse. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I had a relapse. <laughs> You'll be losing that job if you're not careful. Have you heard of the recession? Well, some of us are recession-proof. I hate lying for her. I got bright red blushing. I thought she loved that job. Oh. Right, no slacking you lot. And treat Mr. Strong with the respect he deserves. He's in a good mood. Who's died? <laughs> oh, you flying solo again today? Looks like it. Rosie's sick again. She won't be in today. 
She was all right when I saw her yesterday. Yeah, well, she's got a dicky tummy. Well, still, that must have been one hell of a prom booner. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her yesterday and all. She was fine. Yeah, well, she's up and down. Like her drawers. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Do you, want, do you want me to go and check on her? No, no, it's fine. Oh, I could stand in for that. Oh, yeah, I could wear some really unsuitable heels and I could ask Daph questions and flip me hair a lot. That's <laughs> what you do anyway. Right, OK, enough. Party over. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Just one tiny little thing. Today is my birthday. Oh! 21 today, 21 today. She's got the gear of the Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, we're going for a drink. Or 15 <laughs> after work, so you're all invited. Aww. You too, Luke. Great. Count me in. Love a good booze up, especially with a load of gorgeous young ladies. Ah, oh, a flatterer and a boozer. I want him for my birthday present. Oh, get in line. So come on. What's really up with Rosie? I said she's sick. Well, we know that. But why isn't she at work? Uh, think about it, eh? Rosie hasn't turned up. Tony Scarpered. What do you say? There's a posh hotel room in town somewhere with them two playing trains and tunnels. She's ill, all right. Can we just leave it? Mm -hmm. Giving the message. OK, ta. Trying to get hold of John. But they say he's got to ring me. So he obviously doesn't want to speak to me. You don't know that. I'm going to go and find Rosie. Hey, do you not think you'd better speak to John first? I mean, you can't believe anything that comes out of Rosie Webster's gob. Uh, how come Fizz gets an early break? Eh? You won't be skiving in Mr Gordon, Maria. What's that do, Fizz Bomaluna? You've not been yourself today. Ooh, that's putting it mildly. You've had a face like a yard of gravy all morning. And I'll tell you why, shall I? Cos your tart of a daughter says she's been seeing my John in prison. <gasps> Rosie? No, Sophie. Don't be ridiculous. She told me. Bold as brass. And where's she been all week, eh? Cos she weren't ill yesterday when I saw her and it was obvious you were lying this morning. Mmm, she's right, the way you were blushing. You're like being stung by a jellyfish. Why would she go and see that loony that kept her a prisoner? You're mad! As much as I don't want to agree with Webster, she does have a point. He did kidnap a love. Yeah, it's hardly like she's going to go up there with the latest copy of a Ruth Rendell and half a pound of pear drops, is it? Oh, she's not. You're going as loopy as in. Besides which, what does little Miss Social Climber want with an uninged, banged up, middle aged loser? No offence. <clears throat> she has got a point, albeit crassly made. Look, we all know you've lost it seeing that nutter, but don't go projecting it onto anyone else. I mean, like Rosie would go within a million miles of steak. So you can definitely confirm that £150,000 will be in my bank account tomorrow. OK. Yeah, OK, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey, that's a big grin. <laughs> you won the lottery or something? Well, not quite. Do you uh, fancy going into town? Uh, I've got to work. Oh, I've been it off. Oh, I wish I could. Well, what do you get for a shift? About 30 quid. Why? I'll buy you twice that in drinks. I'm celebrating. <gasps> Actually, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. <laughs> <laughs> we better go this way, though. So, uh, what are you celebrating? Can you keep a secret? Of course. Right, well, did you hear about that time last year when I was kidnapped? You had your own kidnapper? Yeah, I know. It wasn't as exciting as it sounds. But anyway, the guy that did it has just gone and given me a wad of money for, like, his weird way of saying sorry. You're kidding? <laughs> well, I mean, how much? <gasps> The gift that just keeps on giving. At least until you start bringing it back up. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sean. It's just what I always wanted. Oh. Right, Kel, get to that bar. Get us a round of sambucas in. But you've already got a full bottle there. <laughs> Which is why we need the shot glasses. Ooh! I admire the cunning of a hardened boozer. 
looks like Looney Tunes has decided to drink on her own. Well, do you blame her, Sally, the way you treat her? All right, that's enough. Not only is it Janice's birthday, but do I need to remind you that we are supposed to be a team? Colleagues. Even if some of us can't be buzzing buddies, we at least need to be professional. Right? Right, well, you tell her to get a bum over here, because it's my birthday and I want us all to play nice. Right? Right, Webster. Where's me Preza? Hey, well, everybody else has got me some Oh, come on, Sally. You knew we were coming out for a birthday. <gasps> Surely you've not come empty-handed. Well, I did mean to get you something at dinner time. Mm. Yeah. It's just that Sophie needed something and I had to go and get it. And... Oh, look, she's going red again. She's gonna blow. Fine. There you go. One roll-on deodorant, half oh. used, and a penguin. Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> Come off! This is Jimmy. Oh. So, I'm waiting by the school gates. And our Emma runs up with a little mate, Agnes, dead excited like, because she's been invited round for tea. And Agnes' mum wants to speak to Amy's mum. I know. But, right, Amy looks up at me and she goes, Becky, you're my mum number two, ain't you? Can you talk to her? Oh, I know, I was so chuffed. She's I'll try again, like shall I? <clears throat> Six shots of Sambuca and three packets of heart scratchings, if you don't mind. <laughs> now. Julie, if I could just talk to him, find out what's going on. Fizz, please, put it out your mind, even just for tonight. Oh, come on, love. A drink with your mates will do you good. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Jan, the strip has arrived. You feel okay? You're telling me. <laughs> Um, you know when you put some money behind bar for my birthday? The times have changed, Carl. I'm probably as brassic as you lot at the moment. Ah, oh, Carl, you used to make such a fuss of our birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably spent all day baking your personalised birthday cake. And blowing up balloons! <laughs> Lizard had my guts for gar, as if she knew I were letting you lot drink your own booze. Come on, no one can make a round of shots last an hour and a half, least of all you lot. Do you want one and all? Yes, you read my mind. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Do you want one, Fizz? Yeah. Yeah. Jan, turn up with me. Yeah. Right, okay. To our friend Jan <laughs> and the best damn team in Nick and Stitches this side of the Pennine. Yeah! Come on! Well, on the roll! Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Look at the poor love over there, obviously on a deathbed. Rosie, what exactly are you doing? I'm getting splattered, what does it look like? All right, come on, Rosie, I want the truth. What did you mean about seeing John? Hey, have you heard what this one reckons? That you've been visiting John Stape in prison. Ooh, you bought anything nice? What's going on? Have you been seeing John? Gosh, all this attention could go to a girl's head. Rosie, where'd you get the money from for all them banks? Right, do you little girls want a drink or what? And more champagne! Yes, yes! Come on, champagne. Rosie, I want an answer! Are you in love with John? <laughs> what, in love with that weirdo? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> Although he's starting to grow on me. <laughs> well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, you're all going to find out anyway. That nutter state has given me some compensation after what he put me through, which is quite right. Compensation? How much? 150 grand. <laughs> so I say champagne all around. <laughs> well, that knocks my roll on the order and it's got that. And I can't get my head round this. Well, what's he get? He feels bad about what he put me through and he's done the right thing. But where would John get all that money from? I don't know, he said something about selling his brand's house. <laughs> I don't know, who cares? It's such a lot of money. And you say it's going to be in your bank account tomorrow? Well, it better be. I max out all my cards. Jummy cow. <laughs> hey, I hope you lot will be a lot easier on Fizz now. At least John's proved he can do the right thing. Well, he's certainly gone up in my estimation. 150 grand? To that jammy cow. So, I'm guessing that's me down 1PA. Janice, how do you fancy stepping in temporarily? 
Me? Uh. The only one out of this lot can keep Tony in line, I reckon. And we don't want to waste all that maths coursework, do we? Look! I'm your supervisor. I'm far too good in that job for me to risk losing it. But you never considered me, did you? No. Because you're my best knicker stitcher. Come on. Look, I'm off. See you all tomorrow. Not too hungover, I hope. Ah, thanks, Luke. Really. Consider it your birthday, Prezi. Oh. Don't let me down. It's a really kind thing. Sure, you you can make amends. You might even help with the pro board. Yeah, but why didn't you tell me? I wouldn't have tried to stop him, Sean. Thank you. I've got to go and try and tomorrow, tomorrow, same time. Tomorrow. Hey Rosa! It's my birthday. Mm. Could I have a bottle of bubbly, please? Um, can I have a bottle of champagne up there? <laughs> Don't you talk to me like that just because you're loaded. Here's 50 quid. Keep your change. I'll just fetch a chilled one. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'll... I'll call tomorrow. Thanks. What did they say? Is this bomb? He's on. They've... They've put him on suicide watch.